Look at it, right in front. See it? Yeah. There's a musky right over there. I just hit him. Oh, 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 he hit it! Yeah. Welcome to the next level. Oh, I gotta follow. I gotta follow. I gotta follow. I gotta follow. Yeah. Getting harder than a brick. Oh my god, it's another tiger. It's a tiger musky. He's following my jerk bait. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is working. We moved over to the deeper side. This is the second follow we've gotten in the last 20 minutes. He's working this jerk bait, this X wrap. He followed it to the boat. I did it just like I was supposed to. I kept reeling. I sped up the, the retrieve. Started doing the figure eight at the boat, and he just kind of stopped. That's my second follow. That's my, what, I had two bites. I had the one that react, like hit that, uh, Jesus, I can't even think straight right now, dude. Yeah, Holy sh It's so close, dude, it's gonna happen. I it's know. it's gonna happen yeah. today. And I'm supremely confident in this bait. I think this is how we're gonna catch them today, is by staying in this deep water and fishing off of these flats and pulling them off. Dude, he was actively following that thing too. Five different musky, all sizes. We've seen a small one, medium. That one was like a medium size, and that was probably in the 30 that inch range. That one was that a tiger. Was yeah, tiger. it was, but that was not the big tiger we saw earlier. That no. one was two times that the size. His, that was his daughter. Yeah. We've been out here for about four and a half hours. We have had two follows. I've had two bites. I mean, you guys tell me what you would do in that situation. I've, again, never caught a musky, still trying to figure this out but I'm sure some of you have seen that situation and caught fish like that and have had other experiences. So let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. We're gonna get back to trying to catch one of these fish. My adrenaline has been through the roof all day long. And it feels really good and I have a good feeling it's gonna to happen today. Lucky shirt, baby. Rocking the lucky shirt. It's gonna happen, down. I'm feeling it. Another musky right by the boat. Another musky guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, okay. Try something different. I'm gonna burn it this time. Maybe I can get him to react to it. I mean, that's what, number six? I mean, it's, it's gonna happen eventually. It's just like you gotta come across it at the right exact time. You know what, this is gonna seem stupid, but I put on an underspin. This is a half ounce underspin with the 5.8 inch Kitek. Still on the 125 pound leader, so it's not gonna break off on me, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna throw this around a little bit. Just gives it a little bit more flash. Since we have a little bit lower light conditions, I wanna see if that can maybe trigger a strike or another follow. They've pretty much been hugging the bottom all day. We haven't seen one suspended, unless it was following one of our baits. Um, and even the one we saw that was really deep was still just kind of chilling on the bottom, just getting pushed by the current. I don't know. I don't know what differences that makes in their feeding patterns or programs, should we say. Okay, so I want to go over some of the baits that I've been throwing today. Jointed X-Wrap here. Bass Pro Shops. Giant jerk bait around for a little bit. Hand poured swim baits that Martin gave me. I definitely hit a muskie in the face with this at least twice. 4.8 inch Kitek. I got a follow on this with the 3 8 ounce dirty jig swim jig head. A one ounce football head with a giant Kai Tech. Still, again, sticking with the smaller profile baits deal. TNA Tackle Angry Dragon, which I did get a reaction strike out of that muskie this morning from. It came up and whacked it and it just swam away. Like, I thought that was it. I thought that was the moment, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he came up and bit the tail. Let's see if I can see any teeth. Oh yeah, there's, there's definitely teeth marks on there. Doubt you can see them in this light. Again, there's obviously a lot of people that catch musky on bass gear all the time. So he's gonna take over real quick. He's gonna give you guys a little shout out. Yeah, so basically my primary tools today have been this Danielson football jig head setup. And uh, like I said in my Tackle Warehouse unboxing, guys, go watch that please, thank you. The football head, I find, gives the swim bait a little bit of an extra side-to-side -side wobble along with that tail action. And, uh, and then I decided to switch it up. Watched a video of uh, Chris Aldane uh, where he did a finesse swim bait video and he endorsed these Spark Shad. 
by Mega Bass. It's a soft swim bait. Incredible action. I got hit once on that. And uh, those have been my primary tools today. I threw a little mixed bag. I threw crankbait, the Bandit Ledge 250, a War Eagle jig, modified spinner bait with a Kai Tech, and uh, nothing's really done it for me except these little soft swim baits. So that's been it today. We've had a rough time so far, but we've seen a lot of musky. <laughs> Definitely a lot of musky. Yeah. Uh, we've, got, we've got hit a couple times, so it's been a great day. There you have it. He's been sticking with the really small bass styled lures. I've been throwing some of the bigger musky specific lures and again some smaller bass i mean things you could consider bass lures we've seen a bunch of fish the follows both follows that i've had have come on the smaller baits too i mean i was throwing a 4.8 inch kitek and had a really nice size muskie chase it up to the boat we've got about two hours left out here to fish maybe two and a half we're hoping that once this sun goes down a little bit we'll be able to find one of these muskie oh oh big one Two, two of them, right next to each other. Two big musky right next to each other, right here. Oh, they're scared, they're scared. That was a, that was the big one and a, a smaller, a smaller one. Just linked up right next to each other. Two and a half hours without seeing one. And now we're starting to see them again. Oh, I see one. He was just chilling. Actually, he was off the bottom a little bit. He was suspended. I wonder if that means he wants to eat. It's coming. I think they're gonna have to feed. One of the 17 that we've seen today. No, seriously, like one of the one of the five or six that we've seen today has to eat. It's on top of him. It's on top of him. Do you see it? It's the big one. It's a big tiger musky. Oh, I think I just ran into it. I did just run into it. Almost the end of the day. I know I'm just gonna roll right up on them. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, there they are. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's got the musky. Oh, no. Oh, do, do I have a, a musky. Yeah. I got him. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm trying to get him in the net. <laughs> Woo! Baby. Got him. Oh, yes. dude, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Oh, my God. I got him. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. Finally. You did it, brother. It's a little baby musky, but I mean, I do not care. I've been looking for one of these for nine trips now. Feels good to finally get it done. I'm just. <laughs> 59 hours to catch this fish. <sighs> Got so much life. Oh, look at it go. Oh man. Dude. We did it. <laughs> we did so it. stoked. Yes. <laughs> Give me some. Whoa. It was the lucky shirt. So you guys don't know the story about this shirt. This is the shirt I was wearing when I chopped the biggest poker tournament of my life. I won $32,000 wearing this shirt. Two days in a row, got to wear the same shirt on day one as you do day two. Made it through 1,700 people. And then we chopped with five left. So that's why I thought this was my lucky shirt. Today just confirms this is the lucky shirt. Feels good. All right, we still got some time. I'm gonna catch another one. Well guys, this musky did not come on your traditional musky lure. I've been throwing smaller stuff today and I caught that on an underspin with a 5.8 inch Kitek. I dyed the tail a bunch. I mean, we were trying every possible bait that you guys sent me, every possible bait that I threw. I, I mean, I was going through every single one multiple times. I put it in front of their faces multiple times and this little underspin, half ounce fish heads underspin with the Kai Tech is what got me my first muskie. 59 hours of fishing, probably 2,500 casts. We did it. We definitely missed measuring that fish and getting some good pictures. I got some video of it, but I just wanted to make sure that fish was released alive. I'm still so excited, dude. I'm, I'm not going to sleep for two days. What I was doing, I was casting out as far as I could to not spook these fish in the super clear water. I was letting it sink to the bottom, 
and I was just ripping it up, letting it fall, reel up the slack, ripping it up, letting it fall, reel up the slack, just like this. And that fish hit it on the fall, and I kind of felt it tap it, and I saw the line starting to move left, reeled down, set the hook, and it was game time. We are finished up here on the Shenandoah on muskie hunt number nine. Lucky number nine, lucky shirt, and my lucky buddy, David, AKA Water Warrior, who's coming down here right now. Look at him, look at him. I already said a little bit, but basically we were seeing muskie all day long. We were following like five to six of them. I think we were seeing five to six different fish, and we were just making the same pass trolling up into the current and then falling back and we we saw muskie all day long the longest lull we went was two and a half hours without seeing them and then we were seeing them every 15 minutes the it rest was, of the day it was insane it was absolutely insane I've never and seen anything like that in my finally life. finally <laughs> caught one it wasn't big it was probably 30 <laughs> inches but i mean i'm so stoked it's a muskie baby i lost uh, i lost my a little bit but i mean it was phenomenal um, thank you guys for all the help all the comments all of the recommendations scott for sending me the rod everyone who sent me baits i mean i couldn't have done this without you guys i really appreciate it i learned a lot and this hunt is not over i mean it's just beginning i'm gonna be fishing for muskie a lot more the thrill of that was just absolutely phenomenal so thank you guys for that also make sure you check out the netman <laughs> David aka Water Warriors channel please I'm gonna link it below so see you soon hope you enjoyed he did, he did it, it. <laughs>